Russia, Russia, Russia. Well, Speaking you're not the balloons. only one shocked. Yeah. It's dailymail.co.uk here. Putin is buzzed by color-changing UFO spotted Ooh. by four. I don't know why four is all capital. Four Russian planes as he makes oh. speech threatening nuclear war against the West. Wow. Wow. There's a lot there. Okay. Pilots in multiple Russian planes reported a UFO buzzing Volgograd when Vladimir Putin visited the city on Thursday. Ooh, Putin's got his, his, his toys out. The extraordinary accounts say the unidentified object. Oh, they don't use the flying object either. Unidentified object changed color and height in the sky. A report by Telegram channel Avia Torshna said the it's UFO a was fancy, seen. Fancy balloon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> said the UFO was seen and reported to the aviation authorities by the crews of four separate passenger planes. Putin had flown to Volgograd under close security to attend ceremonies linked to the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Stalingrad in the Second World War. The incidents came as the dictator hinted that the conflict in Ukraine could turn nuclear following the West's move to supply Kiev with major supplies of tanks. There it is. Yeah. That's why they did the tanks. It triggered Putin. He said, quote, we don't send our tanks to their borders, but we have the means to respond and it won't end with the use of armored vehicle. Everyone must understand that a modern war with Russia will be completely different. Do you think he's flexing his UFOs? He's showing off the he's showing Russian off his UFO anti-gravity thing? electromagnetic craft. And then uh, America is sort of starting to show theirs and you know, everyone's so going to start revealing their space weapons. Well, so there's a couple of things that come to mind here. Number mm. one is yes, he may be showing off his balloons. <laughs> His very cool color changing balloons, or he might be showing off his very cool UFOs. Uh, that's that's one way to look at it. Mm -hmm. is if Russia as a nation state has something like a UFO. First of all, I think it's very interesting that uh, the sightings of the UFOs were done by people in a passenger plane, because that's exactly Ex where the, balloon. The, the Chinese balloon <laughs> was first discovered. These passengers are on to us. The passengers and passenger planes looking out the window and seeing a bunch of balloons. The four so very separate possible reports. that this is Russian balloons, color changing balloons. Very cool. Uh, you know, he's trying to throw a party, show off his cool party balloons. Uh, or if they are UAPs or, or UFOs in the traditional sense, the nation state of Russia showing off saying, mm -hmm. hey, that's fine. You have tanks. We have these cool UFOs. Uh, or the other side of that, depending on your sort of worldview and perspective on the thing, is the UFOs were there sort of observing Russia because of all the reported stories about UFOs sabotaging nuclear launches and, you know, st mm -hmm. stories like that. Yeah. Where uh, nuclear whatever launches are happening or l nuclear tests and the ufos show up to sort of sabotage it or discourage it or observe it or whatever so maybe there are just some aliens coming up to watch putin's putin's cool cool speech very powerful speech something interesting here they go through the the actual reports from the four different flights and we don't have to go through that uh, but at the very bottom here, it says the flight paths took the planes to the east of Volgograd, formerly called Stalingrad. All the air routings show major detours to avoid flying close to the war zone in Ukraine before they flew past Volgograd. Oh, that was not as exciting as I thought. All right. Well, <laughs> the Russian authorities haven't made comments. Miles, right? They they went about 125 miles. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, it's just interesting how all the stories around the world uh, pertain to Stuff in the oh, air, you know, and I it kind of makes sense. Yeah. The the slow disclosure that's been taking place uh, with the whole UFO topic and creating the, the council to look into UAPs and blah, 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 all that stuff in the government in the U.S. It's got to be part of the the disclosure of the technology. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's disclosure of aliens or anything like that. I think that's going to be allowed to flourish or, you know, perhaps mind control or, you know, even business purposes. Um, but in terms of the actual technology, it'll be interesting to see because, you know, the, the, the future, as we move into the future, Basil, we're moving into a time when 
the, the, the great reset must take place. We need better infrastructure. And um, there's one place where the infrastructure is going to be built, I believe, with some very advanced technology. Jordy. What shall we do? It's Afrofuturism and tying this to Russia. Uh, we have a clip here and um, this clip is from Reuters and it is uh, a foreign minister, a Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, and he's in Sudan and he's doing a little tour, a little press thing. And uh, Reuters reports, uh, Reuters does a, a translation. Oh, Oops, I'm sorry. They are oh, running. no. Okay. Uh, they do the translation of this guy. Uh, Sergey Lavrov, and it's really a, an anti-American sort of stance here, um, but I wanted to play it because I think it it speaks to the actual geo geopolitical, but also geographical, almost like a land grab of Africa. We know about Antarctica, but also Africa being this place where it seems like China is trying to to be the ones to help develop Russia. And, you know, obviously the West yeah, the, and the, the U.S. Yeah, the power grab. It's the, the, power it's the, grab, yeah. the power grab, the soft control of the African continent. Yes. For so. lots of reasons. Natural resources, one. Geographical uh, strategy is two. And labor, three. Yeah. So in that regard, here he is. Our friends in Africa, Asia, Latin America understand very well that what is happening the event and the process that's taking place is the result of geopolitical games by the United States and its allies to preserve the hegemony in world affairs. Western countries are concerned about Russia's expanding influence in Africa's Sahel and its border regions. This year will see several visits to the continent by top U.S. officials as part of a diplomatic charm offensive. Diplomatic charm offensive. I like mm -hmm. that. The U.S. Yeah. diplomats are going to go in there for diplomatic charm offensive. Mm. Interesting here. Lavrov, who at the end of January also visited several other African countries, said the fact that they are running around the world trying to convince developing countries to undermine relations with Russia meant they do not believe in democracy or equality of all states in the international arena. <laughs> Which is really ironic and it's Duh. kind of true. It's like, yeah, the US is a, we're all about democracy, 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 but not with Russia. Except, except when it makes us money and yeah, then, yeah. We're demo <laughs> then we're fake democracy with uh, economic hitmen and putting third world countries into debt they could never repay in order to sell off their resources to American companies. Yeah. And there's something about this Reuters report that I thought was very interesting at the, at the end here. Sudan was cut off from billions of dollars in international financing after military leaders ousted a Western-backed transitional government in 2021. Well, what was that again? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. Sudan. Let me play, let me play, play that one again. more time. Yeah. Was yeah. cut off from billions of dollars. In Thank you. Sudan was cut off from billions of dollars in international financing after military leaders ousted a Western-backed transitional government in 2021. Exactly. Military leaders ousted a transitional government that was supported by the West in 2021. It's very similar to what happened in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So, and people don't really talk about it. I think it was 2014. Mm. I mean, uh, Zelensky is uh president of ukraine because of a western backed transitionary uh government that mm -hmm. uh, victoria newland and others i mean lots of people actually talking about this now yeah uh put Zelensky in charge he was our guy surprise surprise and he's very uh we made him a star for it well what happened here is we also did the same thing in sudan mm -hmm. and the people didn't <laughs> the like people it didn't so like the it and they said get away Go yeah, away. The military kicked out our guy. And we what happens when they kick out our guy? We stop sending them billions of dollars. Yeah. So the U.S., we sabotaged. Well, we had a successful, basically, coup in Sudan. We had our guy in and then people didn't like him because, you know, he's working for us kicked them out they put in their own new government and so we stopped sending them money what an 
awesome opportunity for Russia to show up and talk about uh, how nasty America is. That's exactly what I mean. We are really that's that's See, exactly the, what he should be doing. The problem with war and and <laughs> there's a lot of problems with war, but the, the and, one problem the one that I thing, see. No, but, you know, we we we've been really hyped up the last few weeks or I guess a week or two with the balloon thing and, and this anti China sentiment and the CCP and the human rights violations. And we know about all that. But also the U.S. is one of the most the, the biggest bully out there when it comes to geo, oh, <laughs> geopolitical yeah. uh, dealings. So, yeah. you know, ah, it's just tough to get caught up in all that stuff, well, at least for democracy, me. Democracy it's democracy when it helps us. Yes. Democracy, as long as it helps the United States uh, economy and power structure around the world. Mm-hmm. then yeah, we're all for democracy. But yeah, yeah no. We're not going to support democracy if it doesn't. Yeah, well, help don't us. don't don't bring up, you know, especially with the Ukraine thing and how all the you know the leadership was placed in there. Don't bring up Burisma or Hunter or anything like that. Then you're yeah. a crazy conspiracy theorist, apparently. It's exactly. Part of a you know, radical Catholics or something, but yeah. Well, anyway. Wakanda UFOs. They need to uh, they need to set something straight. Hey, over you know there. We'll that see. that is the, the. Can you imagine that military meeting? You know, the U.S. reveals that we have our. U O F three thousand thirty three, you know, and they show their mm-hmm. vehicles, and Russia goes, wait a minute, you know, Putin brings out his light, change cool shape color, shifting color light color changing, color changing thing, and then China's got their whole balloon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's funny, but it's it's kind of true. I think they're all going to be presenting their their high tech, and whoever balloons wins, are cool, man. Yeah, their own favorite thing. All right. All right. Speaking of balloons, uh, let's thank some of our producers. Have no idea what those things have to do with I, each other, but I'm, it's I'm a, sure it's a joke at somewhere. this point. Like yeah. all of our segues, our segues are just opportunities for nonsense <laughs> to provide solutions. 